Example four here is example is a simple one, just uh, uh, to examine your understanding of the definitions of uh, of a normal and shear strains. Okay, so here it is uh, due to a loading, uh, the plate is deformed into the dashed shape shown in the figure. Assume A equal ten, B twelve, C thirteen, E eight, and F two inch. Then determine A the average normal strain along the side AD and the average shear strength in the plate at point A, and average shear strength in plate at B. Okay, these are three equations. Let's just uh, try to solve them one by one. You just you, you can just use the equations, okay, the equations to define normal and shear strength for the calculations. Okay, let's look at the first one, A. We're calculating the average normal strain along side AD. The side AD is here, right? Is how to calculate this normal strain. Uh, normal strain epsilon AD, according to our definition, there will be delta over L. The delta is what? The delta is the change in length, right? It becomes longer will be positive and becomes shorter will be, will be negative, right? Then we use the size after deformation minus the size before deformation, we got the length change, right? So this will be A D prime minus A D over A D. Right? So what is A D prime? A D prime as shown in the figure that is C. Right? What is A D? As shown in this figure, A D equals B. Right? Over B. The C here is 13. B is 12 over 12. Okay, so we got 0 0.0833 string. So that's it. That is how we calculate the normal string. All right, then step B, we're calculating an average shear string in the plate at point A relative to A, B axis. Right. So here we're solving uh, gamma at point A. Right. As we mentioned, we have different methods to calculate the gamma at a point. We can use geometry or uh, all, all geometry. <laughs> we can use alpha minus beta or a delta x over L. Right. So we can try them. Uh, you, you can try both actually. If we use alpha minus beta, right, so what is alpha in this case? Before deformation, alpha is the angle before deformation, the beta is the angle after deformation. At point A, the angle between the x and the y axis, before deformation alpha is pi over two. After deformation, beta is what? Beta is the angle Angle B A D prime, right? <coughs> so as we denoted here, the, the 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 gamma A, the gamma A is just this small angle, okay? So how can we find this this small angle, the value of this small angle? You don't have to use alpha minus beta, right? If you you find that it is not easy to find this angle BAD, so you do not use alpha minus beta. Uh, just focus on geometry. If you look at this angle, this triangle here, if you look at this triangle here, the red triangle, okay, we know a F, and we know a C, and we know the gamma A, right? So the gamma A uh, can be calculated from such an equation, right? It's a sine sine gamma a equals what? F over C. Right? The F is two and C is uh thirteen. So this is zero point one five three eight. Okay, you can see that this is a small angle, 
right? Is this small enough? Well, if you cannot judge, as we, we, we did analysis, we mentioned that when this uh, angle is smaller than 0 0.3, uh, approximately you can assume that gamma equals sine gamma equals tangent gamma. But if you are not, not uh, if you are not sure about that, you can just uh, uh, use the tangent, the the the, the inverse sine, the inverse tangent, etc., to to calculate a more to get a more accurate number. Okay, such as in this case, this is not very small. If you see zero point zero zero something, that is small enough. But zero point one five something is perhaps not small enough to do that approximation. So you just uh, simply do gamma a equals uh, inverse sine or arc sine zero point one five three eight. This would be zero point one five four five. You can see that if you uh, just report zero one uh, zero point one five, it, it will be the same. Okay, approximately the same, but not accurate. So accurately, gamma a will be zero point one five four five. So this is the gamma a, and this is actually the value, the magnitude of uh, the shear strain in plate at point a. We have got the result, but now we just need to determine the sign of uh, this, of this uh, strain, this shear strain. Is this positive or negative? You can see that from alpha to beta, from alpha to beta in this case at point a, from pi over two to beta, that is b a d prime. This is an angle larger than pi over 2. Right? When this angle becomes larger, the shear strain will be negative. Okay? Because beta is larger than alpha, so the gamma A will be negative 0 0.1545 radian. Okay? This is the correct report. Okay, then the last step, uh, the average shear strain in plate at point B. Do we need to do another calculation? You just need to uh, to make it to, to just do a simple calculation, right? Just look at here the A, A equals 10. And on the other side, F is 2 and E is 8. When you add F and E together, you get 10. Two, right? So 10, 10 equal to each other, meaning that AD prime, AD prime, and BC prime, they're in parallel with each other, right? So from here, you can uh, you can conclude that gamma B equals gamma A in magnitude, right? But how about the sign? Let's look at the angle uh, at point B. Before deformation is pi over 2. After deformation is the angle alpha equals pi over 2 and beta smaller than pi over 2. Right? So here, because beta is smaller than alpha, so gamma B equals positive 0. 0.5. One five four five radian. 